Hi, I'm Yona from Field Teen Center, and I want to tell you about the book We Weren't Looking to Be Found by Stephanie Kuhn, which I listened to as an audiobook on the Libby app. This is a book about two girls who are both sent to a sort of rehab facility that's just for teen girls and unraveling their story of how they got there, how they became friends, how they became enemies, and what they did after. Camila is Colombian American and a dancer and dealing with anxiety and depression. So she ends up at this rehab center after attempting suicide. Danny comes from a prestigious black family with a lot of wealth in Texas, and she's got a lot of things going for her, including charisma and charm. So you would think that she's got her life together, but she's also dealing with some pretty serious drug and alcohol addiction, which is how she got there. So obviously this story has some big fat trigger warnings. It goes into some dark, it goes into some dark places about drug use and abuse, suicidal ideation and suicide attempts, depression and anxiety, racism with microaggressions and slurs. And this is not a story where the characters kind of gently turn to the camera and explain, hey kids, don't do drugs like me. <laughs> they're, they act like real people. So they're really smart and confident and self-assured. And they're also really messy and think that they are in the right and they have their problems under control. So if you're looking for realistic representations of substance abuse and mental health trouble, this is a really good story for that. I really enjoyed these characters and I liked that the book didn't try to hold my hand too much. Sometimes you'll see this book build as sort of like a mystery and I guess there's a little bit of a mystery in it, but I don't feel like that's the focus and I don't feel like the mystery part is super satisfying. For me, this is a story about friendship and healing because we get to watch each of these characters hit rock bottom and then from there we get to watch them puzzle through and come to their own realizations about what kinds of people they want to be and what kinds of tools and practices they need to adopt to survive to become those people. You'll like this book if you're a fan of books like Crank by Ellen Hopkins or Me, Moth by Amber McBride. If you're looking for more book recommendations or if you just want to say hi, we would love to hear from you and you should get in touch with us. All of our contact information is in the description box and you can also keep watching for more ways to get in touch with us. You can always DM us on Instagram, you can email us, and of course, you can always visit us in person at Field Teen Center. We're located on the ground floor of Parkway Central Library at 1901 Vine Street, and we're open Monday through Friday from 1 to 5 p.m. These hours can change from time to time, so for the most up-to-date information about our hours and any special programs and events, be sure to follow us on social media and check our website. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you find something great to read. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you find something great to read.